In this tutorial, we'll be going over how to use the sidebar module. With Divi, you can add sidebars anywhere to any page in any column. You can also create new sidebar widget ready areas on the fly. For example, here's a standard blog layout. I have a, the blog module here, and I like to place a sidebar on the left of it. So if we go and edit our page, you can see that I already have a row with a blog module on the right. And I like to add my sidebar here, so I'm going to click the Insert Modules button and choose the sidebar module. You can choose the orientation, which will control which way the text floats as well as where the border is. So since I want my, I'm placing my sidebar on the left, I'm going to say that my sidebar is on the left. And then I'm going to choose which widget ready area I'd like to display there. So I'm just going to use my standard sidebar for now. I'm going to choose my text color. Right now I have a white background, so I want my text to be dark. And then I'm going to leave the admin label the same. Now if we preview our changes, you can see the sidebar has been added to the left. Now you can also create new sidebars, um, as many as you like, which means you can create unique sidebars and unique widget uh, combinations for any page. To create a new sidebar, go to the widgets page in your WordPress dashboard. And here you'll see a new box where you can input a new sidebar. So I'm just going to call it Demo Sidebar. And then click Create. After you click Create, refresh the page. And a side, new sidebar will be added. You can add new widgets into here. So I'm going to add a category widget. Add a search, some recent comments. Okay, so I've added some widgets to my new sidebar. Now, if we go and edit our page that we had before, and you click the sidebar settings and the widget ready area, you can see that the new demo sidebar section I just created is now available. If you select that and click save, then the new sidebar will be added. And that's a basic overview of the sidebar module.